Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today I'm doing a Black Friday haul. Ever since I started doing YouTube, I have been looking forward to filming one of these videos. I love watching Black Friday hauls, so I'm super excited to finally be filming one. A little disclaimer, everything that I am going to be showing you guys today in this video, I bought with my own money. I went shopping last night and this morning. I spent about six hours shopping last night and three hours shopping today. I may show a couple things that were not on sale, and if I do, those are just things that I have really been wanting for a long time, but I have been waiting until Black Friday to buy. I'm super excited and yeah I guess let's just get started. Okay so we will start with the very big bag first. So the first place I went last night was Ulta. I had a list of things I wanted to buy when I was shopping and Ulta was a place I knew that I wanted to go for sure because they were having a lot of things that I wanted for a really long time on sale. The first things that I got from Ulta was dry shampoo by Batiste. Batiste? 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, but I got six of these dry shampoos. Ta-da! So these were on sale for buy one, get one free. So I loaded up because these are really expensive on their own. I think they run at like $8.99 a piece. So I was able to get... 9, 18, 27. I was able to get six of them for $27 instead of about $60. So I was super excited about these. The next thing I got was something that actually was not on sale, but I got the um, Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette because I don't know, I really wanted to try one of her palettes and I just liked this one the most out of all of them. So this is what the palette looks like opened. It's super, super cute and I'm super, super excited to try it. The next thing I got was another thing that um, I'm super excited to try. The Anastasia Beverly Hill Glow Kits were all on sale for 40% off and I've wanted one for so long but they're so expensive so I could never get myself to buy one but 40% off, I think this was $24. So I'm super, super excited to finally try this as well. And this is what this one looks like on the inside. The next things I got from Ulta um, were these big sexy hairspray. I love this hairspray. My mom loves this hairspray. My grandma loves this hairspray. And I got four of these because these were on sale for $8.99 and they run normally around between $16 and $22 depending on where you buy them. So I loaded up on these as well because they were on sale for such a good deal. And then the last thing I got from Ulta was the Too Faced Sexy Lips and Lashes. This is a value of $36 and it was $15 and it comes with the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara, the Better Than Sex Regular Mascara, and then a liquid lipstick, which I love liquid lipsticks. And I love these mascaras, but they're really expensive on their own, so this will be a good little thing to have um, for a little while. And I'm excited to try the lipstick that's in it too. So, after Ulta, we went to Target last night, and I was really excited to go to Target because I usually find a ton of stuff there, and I went to Target specifically looking for a Keurig coffee maker. I wanted just like one of the mini ones that can make like hot chocolate and tea, but that they're like super small and like portable, and they're having them on sale for $50, so I went in with my mindset on getting one, and they were sold out when I got there so I actually ended up buying it online and I will like insert a thing of what it looks like the one that I decided to purchase online but besides that I did find another thing so I found a Google Home Mini that was on sale for $25 and they run at about $50 normally so I don't know I'm excited to use this because it's like a speaker I'm not 100% sure exactly like what it does but I think that you can like hook it up to your phone and like call people like kind of like an Amazon Echo but like a less expensive much more small version of that. So last we went to Walmart and that was probably the busiest store out of all of them. So at Walmart, I got some socks from the boys section because all the girls socks were super bright colors and I just wanted like plain gray and white. So I got these socks, 15 pairs of socks. I don't remember exactly how much these cost, but yeah, there's some socks. 
From Walmart, I also got this three pack stainless steel cups from the Pioneer Woman. These were on sale for $15. And I just think her stuff is so cute. Like, she makes the cutest designs. And I don't know, you can never have too many cups, so these will be good for lots of different things. The last thing I found at Walmart was this mini fridge. <laughs> Um, I'm really excited to use this. This was on sale for $20. It was kind of like a silly impulse buy that I just got for really no specific reason but because I think it would be fun to have one of these. So I got the teal color and um, my friend that I went with also got one. She got pink. So I don't know. It says that it can hold six cans. It, it's a retro mini refrigerator. Um, I probably won't put drinks in it. I'll probably put like little refrigerated snacks in it instead, but I don't know. I just thought it was really cute and I'm excited to use it. After Walmart, we decided to call it a night and then we went to um, a mall near us this morning and that's where I did most of my shopping was actually at the mall. I got a lot more things at the mall than at Walmart, Target, and Ulta. So the first thing that I got at the mall were these shoes. Nice. First thing that I bought at the mall were these shoes from the shoe store that was having a sale, buy one, get one half off. I couldn't find two pairs of shoes that I really wanted, but my mom also got a pair, so we were still able to do the deal at that store. And they are these super cute black platform type shoes. I really wanted these shoes a while ago actually. I saw them in the summertime and I saw some girl wearing them and I really wanted them and then I found them at a store that my cousin worked at at the time and I really wanted them but I didn't end up purchasing them and I'm glad I didn't because I was able to get them on sale for Black Friday. Next was everybody's favorite store, Victoria's Secret. So at Victoria's Secret I got two bras but I'm not going to show those. <laughs> So I'll show the other thing that I got, which was this super cute leopard jacket. This was on sale for $35 and I don't know, I just think that it's really cute. It's so soft and I don't really have a lot of jackets for winter. This isn't really like a jacket, but it's just super soft. It's kind of like a blanket. So I don't know, I think this will be super cute for the winter time. And then because I spent $75 between the jacket and the bras. I was able to get a free tote. So this is what the tote looks like. It's sparkly. Okay, next place at the mall was Forever 21, my favorite store. Um, I was kind of bummed because the Forever 21 in my mall is actually under remodel. So they have the store like in this really tiny area of the mall instead of the big building that it's usually in. So it was a lot more crowded and there wasn't as much stuff as they normally have. But everything in the store was 30% off. And I love when stores do that because it just makes it so much easier to just shop for stuff because you know that the sale is the same throughout the store. The first thing that I got from Forever 21 is this super cute black sweater shirt type thing. It's pretty thin to be a sweater, but it's like sweater material. So this was $12.53 on sale. And then I got this super cute blue sweater shirt. This one is a lot thicker. It's more like a sweater. And this one was, this one was $13.95. And then I got a white shirt that was kind of like the black one. Actually, they're not really the same at all now that I'm looking at them. This is just kind of like a really thin sweater and it's just plain like cream. It's cute and it's long sleeve and it's soft. And this one was $10.43 on sale. Then the last shirt that I got from there is this white one that is super loose, pretty cropped, mid-sleeved, and it's pretty thin too, but it's just super soft and I like having just like cute white and black shirts that are just comfy and soft that I can just like throw on when I'm in a hurry to go somewhere. This one was only $6.95. And then I also got some socks from Forever 21. The green, the yellow, the red, and the gray, and the white. I just think these colors are a lot cuter than like bright pink or bright purple. And I don't know, I feel like these colors are kind of in style right now. Not that you see socks, so it doesn't really matter what color they are, but 
I just liked these ones and these ones ended up only costing $3.45. Next I went to American Eagle, one of my favorite stores. If you watched a video I did a couple weeks ago where I tried on a bunch of jeans, they were all from American Eagle. So that's kind of when I splurged on jeans at American Eagle. So I actually didn't get any jeans from them at Black Friday, but I got two shirts. So I got this one that is just like maroon and it has flowers on it and it's super long, long sleeved, it's super soft. All their shirts at American Eagle are so soft, I just love how soft they are. And this one was on sale for $20. And then I also got this brown, brownish one, mauve. I don't really know what color this is, but it's a little tighter, more v-necked, it's also super soft, and it has like scalloped edges, kind of, or like ruffled edges. I don't know. And this one was on sale for $17. Alright, so the last place I went at the mall was PacSun. And at PacSun, I actually only got one thing for myself and then the rest of the stuff in here is Christmas presents for my friends. So I'm not going to show you them because most of my friends watch my videos and I don't want them to see their Christmas presents. Um, but the thing that I got for myself is this black and white checkered belt. I have been wanting one of these belts for so long and I don't even know why. I just think that they're so cute and so in style right now. And so I'm really excited about this because I've been wanting one. And this is from Brandy Melville. This is actually one thing that was not on sale. It was $10. But everything else I got from there was buy one, get one free. So cute. After the mall, we went to a another store. I got some leggings that have like these holes on the side. I think, I don't know. I think they're cute. It's like a cute detail. They're from Total Fitness and they were on sale for $8. And then last from that store, I got this Fila workout shirt. It was originally $10 and on sale for seven, but it's super soft too, and it'll be good to work out in, so I'm excited about that one. The last place that I got stuff from was the Dollar Tree, and I just got some socks from there because I love fluffy socks. I got myself three pairs of fluffy socks, and I know they're pink, but they're fluffy socks, so it's different than regular socks. You know, I'm just gonna wear these like to sleep in and chill out in. And then I got these ones that have Santa on them for Christmas time because I love getting like their holiday themed socks at the Dollar Tree. I think it's so fun. That is everything I got Black Friday shopping and I feel like I was successful. I went in and got the things that I planned on getting, plus a few like extra things, and I got a lot of Christmas presents for people. I am very satisfied with my purchases. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I tried to make it fast and not super miserable to sit through, so I hope I successfully did that. Leave this video a like and a comment down below of what I should do for my next video, and I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye!